As we continue to explore biodiversity, we're also realizing something else. Each species is connected to other species. They rely on one another more than we ever imagined. We certainly know that there is a great interconnection between different species of insects with each other and with the plant life that occurs here. Uh, one of the ones that comes to mind is if you take the army ants as an example. The army ants are going out and they're foraging and they're looking for other insects and things that they can eat and bring back to the colony. Well, there's a group of birds called the ant birds that follow these ants around because they know that these insects are going to be flushed up. So they try to pick off these insects whenever they can. Now these birds in the course of their daytime routine will be defecating. Their droppings will be going on the leaves. And there's actually butterflies that follow the birds so that they can feed on the bird droppings because they then use the nitrogen to mature their eggs. So if you get rid of the army ants, you get rid of the ant birds, you get rid of the butterflies that follow them, and who knows, you know, where it may end because just about everything is interconnected. The connectedness between species has been compared to a web. And this web joins even the most unrelated forms of life. Recently, an unexpected relationship was uncovered between fish and trees. The aquatic system here has a very intimate relationship with the terrestrial system. We're just beginning to really appreciate how dependent the fishes, many of the fishes are on the forest, particularly the low-footed forest. When the river is high, the fishes move out into this flooded forest. And there they feed. They, they make use of almost every kind of food resource that's available in the forest. Some feed on insects, some feed on leaves, they feed on fruits, they feed on seeds. The seeds will pass through the digestive tract and then the seeds are scattered. The fishes may be very important to seed dispersal organisms, literally in planting the forest. Trees that feed fish and fish that plant trees may seem a bit bizarre. But the more we explore biodiversity, the more connected all life appears.